Sounds Arbright good. Sin, she says, several, several episodes back, y'all talked about resetting the Apple TV remote when there is a problem. My personality, my personality made me do it. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I, and now I'm with you, Barb. <laughs> my personality made me do it even though there was nothing wrong with my Apple TV remote. Now my Apple TV remote will not turn off or turn on my TV, even when I long press the power button. When I did a search on your website, it sent me to episode 961, which did not have what I needed. Please send me in the right direction. Thanks, Barb. And I listened to the latest podcast. If it ain't broke, fix it till it is. What a hoot, because that's exactly what I did. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to the best of us, Barb. You are in good company. Indeed. So I think I'm understanding the way I'm interpreting this is that once the TV is on, the Apple TV remote still controls the Apple TV device. It just does not power cycle. It can't control the power of the TV. Um, right. And it, or I, I, and I'm, I'm thinking maybe also the volume. I would assume you know, the volume thing, you know, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, if that is what is happening here, what you need to do is sort of reconnect your Apple TV to the remote functionality of your TV. And that will also retrain your remote if it's doing it via infrared. Um, so to do this, you've got to manually power on your TV. I know, like an animal. And then you're going to have to walk all the way across the room, Barb, and back. All the way. Or use <laughs> the remote that came with your TV. I mean, yeah. either one. You know, uphill both ways in the snow. Well, that's right. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're carrying the coal and the firewood. That's right. Um, then once you've got that on, use your Apple TV remote to control your Apple TV. Go to settings. Again, this is on the Apple TV. Home theater control. Control TVs and receivers and make sure that option is on. If that's off, none of this is going to work. Once that's on, if it was off and you turned it on, try it. You might be done. If you're not done, also on that screen, there is the learn remote feature that learns your TV's remote into your remote. I think this is what happened for you. You reset the remote and it forgot the infrared commands that it had previously learned from your TV. So you're going to need your T maybe you might need your TV's remote. Apple's so smart about the way they do this that Sometimes you just say, oh, yeah, I have a Panasonic TV or a, you know, LG, and, and it's like, yeah, I got you. Does that work? Yeah, okay, great. Then you're done. So that may be all it takes. If I completely misunderstood the question, and it's that your Apple TV remote isn't controlling anything, like not even your Apple TV, then you might need to repair the remote with your Apple TV. And so, again, turn on your TV manually so that you can see what's going on and set it to the HDMI input that your Apple TV is plugged into. Again, so you can see what's going on. Point your remote at your Apple TV. Make sure that the remote is about three inches from your Apple TV. So for this one, you definitely need to get up off the couch. And then press and hold the back or menu button and the volume up button for five seconds. Your TV might ask you, or your Apple TV via the message on the screen, might ask you to place your remote on top of the Apple TV to complete pairing. If it does, of course, do that. So hopefully, hopefully one of these two things was the problem. And uh, even more, hopefully one of these two things is the answer. But my guess is you have to just do that learn remote thing. But I figured while we were on the subject, we'll go through the whole, sure. the whole shoot and match. And, and I, I, I have mad respect for you, Barb, that you heard about a thing you didn't need to do. And you did it anyway, because that's right what we do here. Yep, absolutely. You're on good company. Yes.